Well, hey guys, here I have this beautiful 2013 Mercedes-Benz C250 sedan. Um, and you can identify a C250 by the single exhaust outlet on the rear as opposed to the duals. On uh, This is a uh, pre-refresh right here, but this one has dual exhaust so you can tell the difference. And obviously by the C250 badge. Um, this one just so happens to be unlocked, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, jump inside. Actually, I take that back. This is a 2012 Mercedes-Benz C250. Um, 1.8 liter inline four, 15,544 miles on this one. Um, seven speed automatic, uh, 201 horsepower, 229 pound feet of torque. Very good power specs from such a small engine. I didn't know, realize that they were um, rated as high as they are, so I'm very impressed with that. So walking around to the front end, sorry I'm having to walk through the bushes. You can see uh, this one does not have the lighting package, but it does have LED daytime running lights. So that's nice. I've actually driven one of these before and very much liked it. Very quick little car. This one has 225-45 R17, so 17 inch rims. This one does not have the AMG Sport Pack, unfortunately. But it is a metallic flake black paint. I don't know if the camera picks that up or not. But anyways, we'll go ahead and jump inside. This one has the black and almond MB Tex interior. So, uh, pretty decent looking interior. I would definitely go for the black if it were me, because I would ruin a tan interior, a light tan interior like this in a heartbeat. Um, coming to the interior, I believe this was actually one of the dealerships, um, ow, that seatbelt was hot. One of the dealerships, uh, loaner cars. So, soft touch dash, obviously. This is a little flimsy though. Um, as you can see, um, there's your command screen right there. This one does not have navigation, and that is real metal because it just burned the fire out of my hands. Seven-speed automatic shifter. I really like Mercedes-Benz shifters a lot. Um, hazards, tri-stage heated seats for both the driver and passenger. Automatic headlamps, as well as fog lamps right there. There's your parking brake release. Just push it in. Very tiny. Um, Floor mounted aluminum sport pedals, or floor mounted gas pedal anyway. Um, I really like that. I wish my Fusion had that, but it does not, sadly. Um, very small diameter steering wheel, but very thick. I love how uh, Mercedes did their steering wheel on this model. Um, kind of semi textured in the middle, or semi rubberized finish. Voice command, all your other multifunction controls. You won't know how this works. Side bolstering grip extensions, very thick, very nice feeling. Here's your radio controls, and I believe, yeah, it'll come on. It's on a Hispanic radio station, so let's see what we can do about that. Let's go to the country channel. Well, this'll do. I'm not going to do a long audio demo at all because I got flagged on one of my videos. This one does have a Harman Kardon stereo system, which is very nice sounding. Harman Kardon, you can't beat a Harman Kardon stereo in my opinion. Um, here's your turn signal and wiper controls. I wish they would have flipped these because when I drove this one, all I wanted to do was hit the cruise control for my turn signals, but obviously that didn't work. Soft touch door panels all the way. Um, armrest is padded. Here's your window controls, power mirror controls. And this down here is carpeted, so that's nice. There's your power trunk release. I'll go ahead and open that up. There it goes. Um, glove box is very decent sized. Um, not small at all for such a small car. Um, center console does open up like so. And you have your little iPod pigtail in there. I'll go ahead and hop in the back seat and I'm trying to uh, finish up this interior portion because it is hot as all get out inside the car. I didn't have the seat adjusted to where I'd like it. Um, it should have, well, it was close enough. Uh, rear seat legroom really isn't that bad. Um, they, If the seats didn't have this cut out here, I would be in, a, in bad shape, but I'm not. Um, feet fit under the seat pretty well. Um, perfect for uh, semi-long trips. I would be okay for a couple hours back here, but nothing much longer. There you have your rear air vents, as well as a 12-volt power outlet. So that closes just like that. 
<clears throat> and you have um, metal door handles, door material, same as the front. Um, but this piece here does feel a little hollow, um, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Oh my goodness gracious. This back seat's a lot tighter than I remembered. But this is a lot smaller car than the Fusion, so yeah. Rear seats do fold down just by pulling these handles. You do have trunk illumination right here. And I believe there should be a first aid kit in here, but it's not. I saw it in the glove box. And there's your license plate frame. And you have a little storage area here for and your fuse box. So I like that they put that there. And to open this up, you just pull. You have your donut spare tire as well as the jack, so that's good. I'm glad that they give you an actual spare instead of a donut or a uh, an air pump because honestly, if your tire is in shreds, an air pump's not going to do you much good. You do have a little rear lip spoiler, um, but anyways, that pretty much sums it up on this 2012 rather uh, Mercedes-Benz C250 sedan. Hope you guys have enjoyed and thanks so much for watching.